welcome back to this month's City Connector. I know you're having a great time because there's so much information on this show that you can take back right now and utilize in your own life to feel better, have a great time, even do good things out in the community. And we have another person to tell us some great tips and tricks for being our healthiest us in the new year. Joining me at the table is Dr. Ronnie Bowler of Vital Life Chiropractors. Welcome, Ronnie. How are you doing? Thank you I'm so much doing for well. Me. We appreciate you being here. So yeah, we're coming up here on the at the end of January. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw earlier I talked to Skip. People started off with all these grand resolutions. Mm -hmm. They're kind of dying off now. Exactly. What do you see coming into your chiropractor's office? Where what kind of things are people asking you about come the end of January, February, March? Well, at the end of this month, what people are starting to realize is that if their resolutions did go away or if they stopped doing those things that they were working on before, mm -hmm. they're starting to realize, you know, a lot of people are getting the flu, a lot of people are having issues with sickness and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have sustained maybe some injuries possibly over the holidays, you know, when we had snow and ice and things right, of that nature. So we're right. seeing a lot of that come into the office now. And some people just overall want to be more healthy. They're still in their mind wanting to be healthier, but they're having issues in their body that are preventing them from maybe going to the gym or maybe doing that exercise program that they want to do. So we're seeing a lot of that coming to the office right now. And it's interesting because you brought up things besides just, oh, I slipped and I think I did something to yes. myself. So you guys must do more than just realign my spine. Yes. Right? And yes, absolutely. And what we do is we want to focus on getting to the root cause of people's health issues, okay? Now that spine and that nervous system, which is what we really focus on, mm -hmm. controls everything in the body. So what we want to do is address that by realigning the spine and allowing the body to do what it naturally does on its own, which is heal. Your body is made to heal and function at a very high capacity. Wow. And when it's not able to do that because of those misalignments, that's why we see a bunch of different things for, that people come in with, such as you know every, anything from ear infections in kids to asthma and allergies and, and digestive issues in people. So we're seeing people for a variety of different things. Now see, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would have thought, you know, I had I have a pain in my neck or whatever mm -hmm. it might be, but there's a lot more than that because that core yes. has everything to do with the health of you and the rest of your body. Absolutely, you are absolutely correct with that. The way the brain communicates with the body is through that spinal cord and those nerves. So that's what controls everything. And when that is not functioning properly, everything else in the body does not function properly. Well, see, so. I learned something already today. So that Absolutely. is great. Yes. Well, let's talk a little bit about things that people can do as they move into uh, the new year. And they just say, I want to do just one or two things, right, to, yes. to make my life a little bit better, to yes. live a little bit healthier. What would you recommend from your experience? That's a great question. The first thing I would recommend is drink more water. That's always something that most people say they do, but they're not really doing. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Your body's made of about 80% water, so mm -hmm. you wanna get as hydrated as possible because that allows your body to function properly, okay? Another thing I would recommend people well, do. Let me stop right there. How much is enough water? Because I've heard all sorts of tales. So tell me, how much is enough water? Enough water, I would tell most people to try to get a gallon in, that's 64 ounces if they can. A gallon? It sounds like a lot. Exactly. It sounds like a lot, y'all. <laughs> it does sound like a lot. But I always recommend people just start with bottles of water. Most bottles are maybe 16 ounces to 12 right. ounces. That's, and work up to it. Yes, you can work up to that. Okay, it sounds like a lot, but you'll notice as you're feeling more hydrated, your skin will start to clear up. You'll start to notice that your body's working a little bit better. And that's going to help you feel healthier All overall. Right. Good deal. Mm -hmm. All right, and, and what else? I interrupted you. My apologies. So drink more water. What else? Another thing I would mention is just make sure you're getting enough sleep and enough uh, sunlight. So a lot of times people don't think about how the sun actually nourishes our body. It increases our vitamin D levels, which helps our immune system. Right. A lot of times the reason why people get sick, especially in the wintertime, is because they're not outside enough. And that's for oh. obvious reasons, because it's cold outside. Right. But going outside and being in the sun and allowing our body to get some of that fresh air and sunlight actually builds up your immune system naturally also. So that's just, those are just a few things. You can actually go outside and drink your bottle of water. <laughs> And then I love you're that. Out two well, like today on our taping day, it's a beautiful yes. day, but it's cold. So you just need to get up off the couch, get out of the office, bundle up, get your water, and go out there. Absolutely. Just take a maybe a short walk with your bottled water. Just walk up and down your street, maybe a few times if you can, just to get the blood circulation moving, get your body feeling better and breathing better, and getting some fresh air. That would be excellent for you. I love that. Yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about your experience there at Vital Life, and I want to talk about generations and kind of yes. what you see, because I know that you probably see a wide variety of mm -hmm. patients. So what, 
what tips or, or what feedback would you have for people who maybe have kids, teenagers in sports? And mm -hmm. then I want to talk about the other end of it and what maybe senior citizens should look for when they might want to call you. Absolutely. So with the children, we always encourage uh, new moms and, and parents of younger children to bring their children in. A lot of the children that we see in our office are actually just coming in for general health. Okay. Now we all know that little kids are always falling, they're always bumping their head, they're always doing things to their body. And the thing about children is they're not able to properly articulate when things may not necessarily be going right in their bodies. Right, they don't know that there's a pain necessarily exactly. here and where it's coming. Okay. Yeah, exactly, yeah. they don't really understand that. And then even with little babies, things like ear infections, things like colic, those types of things can be uh, addressed in a natural way by making sure that that baby's body is functioning properly by gently realigning their spine. Mm -hmm. and the thing I always tell parents, the way we adjust children and the way we adjust adults is completely different. It's safe, it's effective, and we found out that children have started, they recover very fast because right. they're so young. So, and then uh, teenagers, when we speak with parents that have teenagers, especially our cheerleaders, our athletes, right people of that nature, a lot of times they can understand what's going on in their bodies, but they don't necessarily know how to address it. So when we see the teenagers and the cheerleaders and the football players. I bet you see a lot like of that. that. Absolutely. And what Absolutely. about at the other end of the spectrum? When you get to be a person of a certain age, yes. what is something you need to look for? So over the age of 50, spinal issues are usually the number one cause of health concerns in uh, senior citizens. So our goal for the senior citizens is to make sure that they stay independent. Right. Because no one wants to be in a situation where they have to depend on other people. Right. So when we see our seniors in their 60s, 70s, not 60s, in their 70s, 80s, and even 90s, we explain to them, hey, our goal is to make sure that you stay independent, and we do what we can to make sure that you're healthy and as active as possible. I love that. So I'm going to tell you, a, a, it's not a story, but it's a saying. Mm -hmm. I heard this a while back. It said, you are only as young as your spine is healthy. That is an Would you agree with that? Quote. You are absolutely That's going to be correct. your logo thing from now on. Yes, right? Only yes, as young as, a, as your spine is healthy. Absolutely. All right. Well, as always, I'm going to give you the last word. I love to do that with our guests mm -hmm. here. So, Ryan, tell us, um, if, if you could leave them with one thing about living a healthier life in 2018, what would you tell our folks? For living a healthier life in 2018, I would say the most important thing is for you to know exactly what's going on inside of your body. How is your body functioning? Not necessarily how you feel, but how is your body actually working? Go get your body checked, get things tested, see exactly what's going on so you're not blindsided by things that happen and you're scared into making decisions that you may not necessarily want to make. All right. So that's why I'll tell people. So pay attention. Proactive. Pay attention and be proactive. Yes, ma'am. All right. Very good. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having us. I appreciate that.